What if I told you guys that 2K is giving you plus four to all of your offensive attributes? Would you guys take four additional attributes to each one of your offensive categories? The floor general badge on NBA 2K22. How important is this badge now that we have this new patch that slows down speed, allowing defenders to make better contests and play better on ball defense? What's good, All City fam? I'm All City and thank you for tuning in. As always, before we continue this video, I would love to invite you guys to the number one NBA. NBA 2K22 Discord. If you guys are looking for players to run with on NBA 2K22 in Season 3, join our Discord. We would love to have you. Listen, I totally understand why players would not have equipped the Floor General Badge prior to this most recent patch. Everybody was able to shoot. You could work those screens, get an open shot. You had the left-right cheese at your disposal, giving you a ton of speed against the defense. But now that we got this patch, it's much more difficult for point guards to get open. It's much more difficult for all players to get open now that defense has become more balanced with the offense and because we got that balance this is why i think the floor general badge needs to be considered amongst a ton of players out there you're talking about up to plus four additional offensive attributes if someone on your team equips the floor general badge i personally believe now more than ever is the best time to have someone on your team equip floor general and take advantage of those plus four offensive attributes the defense has gotten a tremendous buff with this most recent patch from NBA 2K22, with point guards being slowed down. Now the defense has more opportunities to take advantage of the Clams badge, more opportunities to make contact and activate the Menace badge. The Intimidator badge has gotten a buff along the perimeter, and that's a proximity badge, so that's gonna help the defense as well. So for you guys to be better equipped and run out there with a better offense, you're gonna need a badge like the Floor General badge. If anything, the worst case scenario is that the Floor General badge will offset the attribute drop due to the menace badge and we know defenders are going to be making a lot more contact on ball handlers activating the menace badge that much more often if someone on your team has the floor general badge with the plus four additional attributes at the very least that'll offset menace on hall of fame but if you're going up against a defender without menace on hall of fame then that's plus four additional attributes to your playmaking moves you're shooting out there you're finishing out there so much much to consider with the floor general badge you guys might want to try it out and see if it serves your team a good benefit against this enhanced defense after the most recent patch from nba 2k22 i hope you guys found this video helpful and or informative and if you did please consider dropping a like on the video if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing as we intend to have a ton of 2k22 content coming your way i'll catch you guys on the next video easy y'all